That's that's exactly right, Joyce. And, and Jerome Shoemate is here right now at the Thurston County Jail. By this point tomorrow, he'll find out if he is going to be formally charged with those two new rape charges. But he was recently in the Kitsap County Jail as well. The prosecutor there argued against his release, fearing that he might do exactly what he's accused of doing. In the new allegations, Shoemate's accused of picking up two women in downtown Olympia, one by the library last October and another near the transit center in March. Mr. Shoemate appeared to be targeting vulnerable individuals in vulnerable states. Prosecutors say the women told police he took them to a Lacey home where they say they were raped in the home's basement. Records show that house belongs to Shoemate's mother. Police say following the assault, Shoemate dropped his first victim in a nearby Walmart and almost six months later, the second woman says he left her at a KFC just down the street. Detectives say the similarities and description led them to arrest Shoemate, who has a long criminal history. There's a rape conviction from 1998, and in 2019, he was charged with rape and rape of a child. He received a five-year sentence after pleading guilty in 2021. He got credit for time served and was released in September of 2023. He registers as a transient sex offender in King County. Less than two weeks later, Shoemate's accused of raping the first woman in Thurston County. This February, he was arrested in Kitsap County after detectives there said he failed to register as a sex offender. On March 4th, he bailed out, and 20 days later, he's accused of sexually assaulting the second Thurston County woman. He was arrested again on April 30th. After the arrest on the failing to register charge, the Kitsap County prosecutor argued Shoemate was a danger and asked for $50,000 bail, but the judge ordered him held on $10,000. I am imposing bail in the amount of $750,000. This time, a Thurston County judge, Ann Egler, quote, extremely concerned about Shoemate's risk of reoffending, ordered him held on a higher bail amount. That Kitsap County prosecutor who argued for the higher bail amount said that his staff feels like Shoemate knowingly was violating these obligations to register as a sex offender, signing up initially in King County, but, but mainly living in Kitsap County and then eventually living here in Thurston County. That prosecutor said that they felt he was a, quote, risk of violence. Live here in Thurston County, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Drew, thank you.